So my name's Charlie Unwin. I'm a performance psychologist, which basically means that I work a lot with uh, riders, uh, mo mostly competitive riders, but also recreational riders as well, uh, helping them really be the best that they can be. Uh, I work on a, a lot of areas really with them around confidence, uh, but in particular focus, emotional control, uh, ability to manage success and failure, motivation. All these are areas that can influence our performance as the rider in a sport where I think uh, the horse provides such a strong focal point it's easy to focus on what's happening with the horse rather than actually our performance. So I suppose that's one area where it's been particularly useful working here for example because talking about confidence I think when we lack confidence it's often when we've allowed our attention to kind of deviate towards the things that we can't control or worry about how the horse is going to respond to something you know coming up in front of them. Uh, and there's a certain skill here, I think, for the rider to be able to manage uh, both their focus in terms of focusing on the things that they can control. And that often requires us to have a really clear plan as well, as well as uh, our sort of emotional control. So recognising that you know, sometimes we do feel a bit scared when we're on the horse. Sometimes uh, the challenge in front of us does make us feel a bit nervous. But it's not that nerves that stops us performing well. It's actually our ability to focus, to think clearly despite those nerves. So it makes having a plan really important. And one of the areas that I've worked on with Jason Webb today is what it means to have a plan because he's kind of the expert with the horses in terms of um, recognizing, right, what do I need to do in this situation? Whereas I, I recognize, okay, now you know what you've got to do. It's about how do I manage myself? Uh, and I often share with riders as well from my own experience the importance when I was in the army, I was in the army for seven years, uh, when we were taught as leaders to worry less about having a perfect plan but much more about how we confidently execute that plan. In other words, it was better to have a plan that wasn't necessarily 100% perfect but that was executed uh, with 100% confidence. Uh, and likewise, you know, we, we're not going to become experts overnight in anything that we do. None of us are experts. But what we can recognise is what we do well. Uh, recognise what plan is going to allow us to stay focused in a certain situation and get a good result. And then just staying focused and committed to that plan. Um, and I think certainly for horses when people do that well they respond to that really effectively and they see you as a strong leader effectively.